my patches are fully cured and they are just about ready to be sanded. I'll probably block sand them tomorrow. Today, what I'm gonna do is fix some of the air pockets that are in the hood. There's a couple big ones, so I took a Dremel tool with a little burr and I just bored out the air pockets. We'll fill them all in with some resin. I got it poured, I just gotta put the hardener in it. Got my piece of mat cut with the relief cuts all set up, so it should kind of just drop in there. So let me do that, and we're gonna be basically strengthening out all the corners, um, all around, up around, I'm gonna do all inside this area today. So that way when I go to reshape it, uh, block sand it tomorrow, I'll have plenty of material in place so we won't have any blow throughs or anything to that effect. All right, let me get mixing. Rough sanded down the patches. And as you can see, it's looking pretty good. The whole hood itself is really starting to shape out nice. I do have a little bit more work. As you can see, this, this corner still looks like it protrudes out a little bit more than this one. Um, I do want a real big, rounded front end. Um, so that's how these hoods were. But the sides are looking good. Looking fairly straight. The top is looking fairly straight. The sides looking fairly straight. So I'm pretty happy with that. Obviously, just, you know, needs more sanding. Uh, this corner here was a little bit thin, so I had to put some mat on the inside. I'll show you that in a second. But as you can tell, it's coming out. Fairly happy with it. I'm plagued with air pockets in this friggin' hood for some reason. Here, I got a whole bunch of them. I got to fill in over here too. My other hood didn't do that, so I think it has to do with the coldness. I might might be mixing the epoxy a little too fast too, and creating air in the epoxy. Um, there you go. You can just hear how solid this thing is, but. I put some mat in the inside there so that way I can build it up and continue sanding. As you can see, I have a pretty good even thickness on the hood. Except for right here, it's a little it's a little bit thick, but I'll just shave that down. But the sides themselves are pretty uniform. Same with the front. I I haven't even sanded any of these areas down, so There we go. Here it is. It's getting there. Oh, thing's freaking heavy too. There we go. Trying to do this with one hand is kind of difficult at times, but as you can tell, you know, the overall shape is looking good. It's looking good from here. Yeah, if we look at this side, you know, you look at it from this angle, it does look nice. So I'm real happy with the way this guy is coming out. Got to sand the back, obviously, but it's looking pretty good. So there we go. Still working on it. Doing a lot of shaping right now to try to get this hood shaped the way I want it. Nice and round. One thing that's interesting about the original fiberglass hoods is the backs come to a real kind of point like compared to being flat like a steel hood so I'm building it up at this point to try to get that point. You can see that it's it's laying out pretty nice. 
So it continues. More sanding. More shaping. Loads of fun.